What's up everybody? I've got a new video for you all today and today we're talking about using your PlayStation 4 hard disk drive as an external drive for your PlayStation 5. Now you just purchased a PlayStation 5, you spent $400 to $500 depending on which model you bought. You probably bought a game, maybe you bought an extra controller, maybe you bought some other peripherals. You've made a pretty big investment and making another purchase for an external drive maybe isn't in the cards right now. But what you can do is you can use your old PlayStation 4 hard drive as an external for your PS5 so you can get those PlayStation 4 games onto the external so they don't eat up your very limited PlayStation 5 storage space. So let's take a look with what we're working with. Okay, here on the right, I've got my original PlayStation 4 hard disk drive, 500 gigabytes, two and a half inch SATA drive. On the left is what I replaced it with at one point. It's a two terabyte Fire CUDA SSHD. Now it's not an H HDD and it's not an SSD. It lives somewhere between a hard disk drive and a solid state drive. It's a little faster than a hard disk drive, but not as fast as a solid state drive. I'm not gonna mess with this one much today, but I might come back to this one in later videos and let you guys know about load times and transfer speeds if I were to use this one as an external drive for my PlayStation 5. So put this aside for a minute and we're going to focus on this one because this is probably what you have if you've got the oldest model PlayStation 4 and or if you haven't bothered to replace yours. Okay. So the other thing you're going to need is an enclosure. Okay. They're real simple. They're usually made of plastic. You're going to have a, a USB 3.0 port right there. You can shop around and I recommend you do it. If you find an enclosure that has additional USB ports coming off of it, so you can plug in more peripherals uh, and not lose out on limited amounts of USB ports on the back of the PlayStation 5, I recommend it. This one, however, is ultra inexpensive. It's less than $10. I'll be sure to uh, post that in the video or in the uh, comments so you can check it out but any enclosure will do, okay? So let's pop this open. Get this in here. Okay, that's it. Now you've got a external drive for your PlayStation 5. You can put some PlayStation 4 games on there. All right, so let's get this plugged into the PlayStation 5. Let's format it, and we'll take a look. Okay, so I've got my new external hard disk drive that you just saw me plugging into the enclosure, plugged into my PlayStation 5. One thing you'll want to note is that an external drive needs to be plugged into the two, one of the two rear ports in the PlayStation 5. The port on the front of the PlayStation 5 is not equipped to power an external drive. That's obviously reserved for controllers or audio equipment. Okay, so just like you would with a purchased hard disk drive, like the WD Black P10 game drive in my earlier videos, you want to go up to settings and you want to go down to storage. Then you're going to go to extended storage and there it is. Okay. Click on format as extended storage. And when you format the USB drive, all data will be deleted. That's fine. All right. So we're going to format this for the PlayStation 5. All right. The USB drive has been formatted as extended storage. PlayStation 4 games and apps will now be installed in extended storage. Okay, and there you have it. So like we talked about, this is a 500 gigabyte drive. You can see that a little bit of it is eaten up by whatever system software has to be installed on there. And now let's install a game on here. Okay, I've got Deadpool installed. Let's make sure it's installed where I want it to be, which is on the external 
drive. And it's not, so I need to move that over. Okay. And this is really interesting. Even though I don't have my WD Black P10 game drive installed, um, it's still showing me all the games that I have installed on my PS, I'm sorry, on my WD Black P10 game drive as if it's on my console storage. So you see that, don't be wigged out by it, just realize it's being weird. Should be at the bottom of this list here. There we go. Okay. Let's move that to extended storage. And this drive that came out of my old PlayStation 4 is 5400 RPM. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's probably not as fast as the WD Black P10 game drive. Um, Cause I'm assuming that's a higher quality drive but probably getting roughly the same speed. So let's let this cook a minute. Okay. Let's jump back over to extended storage and we're going to confirm and we got Deadpool running off of the external drive that we just put together by using our old PlayStation 4 hard disk drive and an enclosure. Okay, so if you need an external drive but you don't have the funds and you can make the very small investment of you know 10 to 15 dollars, like I said I bought mine for less than 10 bucks I think, um, you can have a fairly decent sized drive for your PlayStation 4 games. Not the biggest, it's 500 gigabytes, but you were already running that anyway. And now all of the extraneous stuff like apps and all that won't be running on there. You'll just have, uh, you'll just have the games. So don't throw away your PlayStation 4 in the trash. Um, grab the hard drive out of it, if nothing else, and use it as an external drive for your PlayStation 5. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps everybody who uh, needs a little bit more storage space for their PlayStation 5 so that they can still play their PlayStation 4 games. Leave me a comment in the chat and uh, tune into my next videos. Peace.